do our building center home. Yeah, and of course, really fun late game power, a lot of health and all that. Now, guys, you've got one more opportunity to prove your precognitive powers. Share your game predictions by tweeting at LOL Esports and use either hashtag GVWin or hashtag NMEWin. We are here in a game five. It's going to be a great one. How strong are these teams as they move into the summer split? Let's find going out. Going to run into the double jungle squad. The enemy knows about this. Trashy going to clear away maybe another pick up, but finds Bunny Fufu, a level two Thresh, taking a lot of damage. Ignite popped onto Flares. The hook over the wall is going to catch Trashy. Flares nearly going down. Flashes still drops to Kane. First blood for Gravity. Going to be answered five, back. Though. Goes to Inox. Now the hook on to move. Exactly. Alltech is not here whatsoever, but the escape comes through. One for one and kills. First blood. It's down. Meanwhile, a fight in the top lane, though. The overheated Rumble going to do plenty of damage towards Haunts. A couple more auto attacks go through. Got a lot of potions. Done trading. Now, Teleport is down for Flares, but up for Hauntzer, meaning he could have used the later abuse a Dragon attempt. Flash Force from Keen puts the Shark in towards Trashy. And that is actually a fair bit of damage towards the uh, Sejuani and her boar. Not going to feel great about this one either. Keen, one hit away from dead. Move can try to help with this one. Inox jumps over the as best he can. Still does get traded back, but multiple Earths use, ults used for that one. Buddy Fufu in onto Otter, but how much damage can they really even do? A lot of knockups come through. Bunny was one auto attack from dead. Silverbolts would have, I think, killed him as Ignite was still on the heal wouldn't help enough move on the way down though wards gonna be plentiful on both rosters two upgraded warding totems also here for gravity another one-on-one -on -one key looking for inox there the almost completed lich plane plus ignite forcing inox away one more q could maybe get the kill inox forced to grab some help and haunts or wow in the top lane solos flares the solo kill all right let's see what happens down bottom not much uh, of import here. Inox had to burn his flash, so with the solo kill top, pretty much guarantees you the dragon as well. Gravity able to gain advantage on both sides of the map. This was just players overstaying. One level Double. up from Hanser. You know, he had a massive sustain advantage, not only because of Hecram's kit, but also because uh, stacking so many potions, Bunny lands the hook. And goodbye, body drop lives up to his name. He goes down. TP's coming in for enemy esports. All the same. Equalizer is available. Will they take the fight? In comes Otter. Stuns up move. That's going to be one kill picked up. Down goes Nunu. But the re-engage from Keen. Flashless, igniteless, and ultimateless means this chase is going to be just fine. Enemy esports pick up two on the backside for the death of body drop. And they will take Dragon forward as well. Oh. Nicely done. Really close to the to the shove here from Silver Nunu. You can't keep up with that shove, though. Kassadin doesn't even bring that much wave clear. He's taking a lot of damage, but in comes Flares. He wants to flank this one, but takes so much damage. He does not have Zonia's. The Abyssal Scepter doesn't help him survive all sec. A one for one as Anox comes in. Now move in the fray, taking up this Kassadin quite easily. Eats the minion, gets slowed back down. Hanser now in the mix as well. But out they go. One for one, top litter dead, AD carry dead. That vein can just tumble around in. Yeah. Definitely works well as cleanup. We've seen uh, it was Najin who ran cast via in vain for cleanup. Siver move up top. Siver ult for a rotation. Wow, they're going to really catch flares. This one has no CC for the new ult. There's going to be the kill picked up, and it will go to Alltech 2 1 and 1. Bottom turret down. Yeah, okay, split push. Otter, man after my own heart, split pushing on vain all game long. 306 CS. I mean, a very, very large champion. Inox pushing down the mid lane well, also in gravity. Risking a Baron attempt right here in the face of some wards. Vayne cannot join this fight. It's a 3v5. Trashy's got a stun. There was no rumble. Here comes Inox. A lot of damage. Bunny Poop with the first casualty, but in comes the re-engage. A bit of a stun to buy some time. Trashy goes down to Keen. Body drop forced to run. Otter has joined in. Move forward. Oh, oh. Flash away from Baron. Baron's Body alone. drop goes down. Inox gets a kill, but it's going to get traded back on. But the Vayne cleanup is here. What can he actually kill? Goes for Hanser. Takes a lot of damage. TP comes in. Two more hits will kill him. There's Flares. There's the slowdown. There's the kill on the Keen. That is an ace for enemy esports. <laughs> All right. Uh, I I wanted to see the. Uh, it happened before, I guess, the mid turret. That drops. So now we're at a 1,000 gold game. These two teams very evenly matched, playing the laning phases for the most part. Dragon number three on the table. Enemy esports do have all their ultimates except for body Hecram. drops. Hecram with the teleport. Uh, home Massive guard. stun. In comes the flank. Otter is safe. This one, Inox nearly going down. Keen buying time with the zone. He is oh. forcing Inox away. But in goes Hans. You're trying to take him down. Trade kills back and forth. Inox over the wall. Still getting away from this one, but move is alive as well. And Biter Drop gets killed. Otter now alone versus four. Great cleanup here for Gravity. Inox, does he want part of this one? He's going to go for oh. all. Except for the spell shield was there. 
And it's a kill onto Inox for nothing. Great by Altec to heal and spell should have stay alive in this one. Well, it's only gonna last about 30 more seconds as Baron buff. Blue Elixir chugged by Flares. He won't forget this time. But this is pretty much the last wave that's gonna have Baron buff here. Bunny people popping the early ulti to try to kite away. He's afraid of this fight. It looks like enemy wants in. They pop the ulti on all sides move. Forced to flash away. Equalizer is great in the back lines. Flare stays alive. And in comes the dive. Butter drop buys time, but not enough as Otter drops. Inox now the only man left to deal damage, but it's just clean up here. Gravity gets all the way through, and they're gonna clean up these last two guys. A triple kill for Alltech in his first game on the team. They can take more off this. That's exactly what Gravity wanted. Move the f single man to take the Sejuani ultimate. Alltech easily able to kite out an auto attack. He even uses his flash forward over the wall to clean up after all of enemy CC has been used. So easy move inside to the inhibitor here for Gravity. And even Keen. Oh, oh. God. All right, that was a little overzealous. And that's just one picked up. Finally, a revenge kill, but it's still four men alive inside the base. Yeah. For a stun on a bunny foo foo. As they limp away, and now the re engage might happen. Okay. No glacial prison. In comes the fish. Thankfully for enemy esports, it misses. Equalizer in the choke point. Keen a bit overextended. Will they get much more off this one? Pops the Zonias, and into the back line they go one more time, but the stun's gonna land. Otter is safe against Hauntzer, and a bunch of damage to the front lines. They're gonna trade tanks in the front line. All tech out of really bad spot. Gets taken out. Otter is still alive. He catches move. A double kill for the Cassidy. That is an ace for two for enemy esports. Where do they go? Woo! Gravity funnel in through the ramp, and enemy finally able to get their hands on Alltech. Keep in mind, sitting on two smites and a Nunu, so securing objectives should be fairly easy. Some poke on to move, though. Down to half, Sybaril, he popped. Otter and trying to run away, out. and in comes Hauntzer to buy some time. Careful, everybody. One third health loss on him. Move still walking forward, and here's the engage. They're gonna catch up to Flares. Pops the equalizer, turns back around, and there's the golden flame spinner. Move nearly dead. Hauntzer dropped low as well. Who's gonna be the first kill? It is gonna be Move. Flares forced to run. The hook on Otter. In comes Buddy Fuba, but there's no follow-up. Hauntzer takes one down. Kills on both sides. The ulti gonna chase on down. It's four kills to two. An advantage of enemy esports. Only all tech alive. Is that game 40 plus 50 seconds here on the respawn timers? And all tech would have to pull. Ah, oh, he's toast. Oh, the hook's gonna miss. Trashy can't quite catch with anything else. The W react is not gonna do it either. But Otter almost in range. That's the crit. That's the kill. Super minions in the base. This could be the game. Ooh, it did all come down to the single team fight there. Woo, and uh, congratulations to Enemy. They're able to win their first game. 100% win rate for Enemy in the North American LCS. And at the very end of it all, they sit only about 300 gold up. That'll tell you just how close this game was. 42 minutes and 40 seconds. Otter with a 16 KDA on Vayne. Congratulations, Enemy Esports. Woo. Yeah, what a nerve-wracking game when it's oh, so man. even the entire time and it just comes down to teamfight positioning and mechanics.